I came across a weird thread on Twitter today by someone by the name of Peruco. And it is a PayPal scam, if you will. Well, maybe not so much. Who knows what could have happened. Maybe this could have been settled behind the scenes. Maybe it was just a little tweaked out little loser getting caught up with the soy boy wallet. Who knows? Peruco here don't know who they are, what they are, what they do. But I'm assuming they're like an editor or some kind of thing. I don't I don't really I don't really know, bro. I just came across this and I was like, this is interesting. Let's take a look. Right? Brad Taste of Music put me in four hundred and eleven dollars in debt. And is refusing to help resolve this with me and you can see this negative 411.82 cid that's the canadian dollar if you will folks shout out to my neighbors across the street you know what i'm saying them motherfuckers is literally next door to me that's crazy i'm on that border wow homie goes about a month ago i was hired by brad to help video edit for him and through this he decided he wanted to buy a video game editing software for me excuse me video editing stuff i don't know why i said video game so i wasn't using the free software i was using before I tell him that he doesn't need to do this, and he says it's fine. Good guy, Brad. Bradley Martin, or whatever his guy's name is. Here's a screenshot. Final Cut Pro. Homie says thank you. I think that is a dox. I don't know if his name is public information. I don't know if we should be posted this, but it's all over Twitter now. And that's kind of crazy. Then, one day out of nowhere, Brad decides to issue a refund on the transfer for Final Cut. This transaction for some reason put my account in negative 411 in debt. Keep in mind that I don't use my PayPal for anything outside of a few transactions between me and Brad. That's kind of crazy actually. Uh, then there's the minus 151 refund, refund error. Uh, I don't know how they get a refund error. That's a little weird to me. I'm gonna be real, that's very suspicious because you specifically have to tell your bank that that is a fraudulent charge and you have to, you know, it's very weird very weird because usually when you are sending something and setting up a paypal account you authorize it because paypal will send like a cent or two cents into your actual bank account and then you verify in your bank account that that's the actual thing and then your bank verifies okay this guy's this guy's gonna start using paypal right you can't really get a refund unless you request it so i'm, I'm side-eyeing you bradley i'm side-eyeing you I confront Brad about the situation. He only sends me some of the money back, leaving me left with negative 213. And here are all the screenshots showing that. I tell him that I'm still missing money in my account. He doesn't respond, causing me to have to call him. He tells me to contact PayPal. Now, hold on a minute. No, no, no. Hold on a minute, Bradley. If you're doing transactions over PayPal, you know, seller for services and stuff like that, you are the main point of contact he needs to go to because his bank's not going to do anything and PayPal's not going to do anything. In fact, PayPal specifically says on their website to contact the seller when these things happen. And just in luck, he contacted PayPal about the situation and tell me this is all on him. And that's exactly what they said in these, these uh, customer support tags. We're sorry you experienced a problem with this transaction. I checked the account and found that this is an external chargeback, as I assumed before I even and saw this um, need to physically charge it back usually what my bank will do or my union will do they hit me yo you spend so and so much amount of money on so and so and i'd be like yeah that's me sometimes they call me up hey so and so were you in uh, new mexico or salt lake city utah spending this and this and this and i'm like no i'm not bro i don't even live anywhere near that part of the united states it's crazy I call him again to tell him about this. And he goes on to me about how he is currently working and can't help me with this. He also tells me that he would send me $300 to get me out of the red. That I would have to pay him back on. I never received the money. Of course you didn't, bro. Bro was trying to scam you. I'm not going to cap. You got, you got scammed. After a few hours, I try to call him again, leading to this exchange where he immediately goes silent on me until I call him again. Bro goes, hey, you okay? No, I'm not okay. I can listen for a bit if you need to vent, but I can't call. Of course you can't call. How can you listen to him if you can't call? Crazy, right? I'm stressed out about the money situation. My PayPal is basically unusable at this point. PayPal told me that they can't do anything about my situation. And this is all on you. I haven't used my account for literally anything else but this. I can send you the statement. This is everything that has happened in the last 90 days. Bro is gotten everything dotted. T's and I's crossed. What? What? That doesn't even make sense. Homie says he tells me to once again contact PayPal, even though I already did and I already told him that they can't do anything about it. And Brad Taste responds with, "I literally told you to confirm with PayPal." And he's like, "I did. I fucking did." Customer support. It's all in the Discord. After that, he tells me this isn't his place to solve this, despite it being a situation he literally put me in. Knowing full well about my current financial situation, how I'm not in the place to have my money messed with like this. Brad Taste goes, Peruco is about this is about the $151 because that's the only transaction in any pictures I see. You better be careful with getting this uh with getting this upset over something that I've been working 
on at my own pace throughout the day. Now you have your girlfriends you can talk to uh, and they can help you maybe figure this out. If I get proof of anything saying more than $151 was taken out, then it's not my place to solve this. That is very weird considering the fact that he had the statements with the refund request coming from your end. I feel this entire exchange has been completely shattered my trust in Brad, which hurts a ton because I legitimately saw the guy as one of my closest friends and someone I could trust. I legit don't know why he's keeping me in the dark on this and refusing to help me with this. Hurting his reputation is the last thing I want to do, but it legitimately feels like he refuses to take this situation as seriously as it should be. And I guess I need to get this point into his head that this isn't something he should be writing off like this. Update, update, uh, Brad has since sent me the money after the tweet went up. However, as it stands, I continue to feel unable to trust him, especially with anything financial this is crazy to me because this girl tina goes on and says you told us about this paypal issue today about nine hours ago after calling both of us on discord until one of us picked up and it wasn't resolved today and it was resolved today excuse me brad has been there for you through so much he doesn't know i'm tweeting this either i'm just hurt for him i get this this is probably like but i'm gonna be real sounds like brad really needs to get in touch with his uh, card because they would have told him if the money sent on paypal wasn't legit uh, and the banks were funding him, they would have told him right away. And on top of that, I really don't think he was going to, by the looks of these screenshots, uh, and then him kind of deflecting, saying the proof is not on me, the proof is not on me to solve this, it's not my place to solve this, I don't think, Brad, that you were going to be sending this money back had this have not taken place. I want to be real. Some people get caught, some people get called out, and they do their actions right away. You did the right thing, Brad. You did the right thing, but I don't think you would have paid it back just by the looks of this. Now, I don't know who Peruko is. I don't know what his personality is. He seems a little crazy, a little schizo. Personally, me, uh, I would have waited a day. I had no response. I'm fucking your ass up. You know what I'm saying? You had 24 hours to solve this. This is on you. I did everything you told me to do. Went to PayPal. You had 24 hours. I'm doing it my way now. That's it. That's, that's all I would have gave. I wouldn't have done this in like nine hours. No. I would have waited. I would have waited. Also... You should have had PayPal, you know. Oh wait, no, he did get the transaction. Never mind. I was gonna say you should get PayPal to get all the transactions and everything. Uh, it is what it is. But let me know what you guys think. You think Peruko's crazy? You think Brad Taste is a scammer? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. It seems a little shady if I want to be a real Brad Taste. I mean, you did the right thing in the end, but it's it's just that line. If I get proof of anything saying more than one hundred fifty-one dollars was taken out, then it is not my place to sell. That's crazy. That's a crazy line. But I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.